Time right now? Getting started. Ah, yes. How about you? This is it. Right. with something I uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox housekeeping service it says that a cute maid will do anything for you a maid dude a maid who'll do anything for us right right You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah? Luckily, some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. The place is all set, so... Hey, I heard that! What the hell? Um... Can I, uh, get in on this? Oh, you mean you're into this kind of stuff? Wow, okay! I'm not into it, it's just for research. What does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. I 
just want to punish the bad guys. And in order to do that, I have to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, we, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. Every little detail. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. So what's the code name for this operation? Hmm... Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like... Operation Maid Watch! Nice! I like that. you like? to wait for now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's get going. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. 
I'm sure things will work out fine this time, too. Looks like Mishima's waiting for us in Shibuya. Do you think we should go see him? My bad, man. Wh what? Welcome home, Master.
Hey. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayuri... How could I... I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why do he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? 
steel hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Phantom thieves again. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal! Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Hmm? Mm. What did you say? Uh, <laughs> that was a joke! <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. And it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? Hmm. 
<laughs> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police have been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> oh! Let's go! 
Come on, man. Hey. All right, let's go. All right. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare.
Take your time. Bull, that's a new high score. The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more, and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit 
such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Zero points right on the dot! Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game. It can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh! Let's invite everybody next time! Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck? Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm, this game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late, though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Hey. Can I help you?
Okay. Let's go. What do you want? Do it. Everyone. Good evening. Everyone. Yes. Uh. 
I shall ask you again another time. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. 
I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashida's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just wanna ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Are you listening? Pay attention! surprise it's really pouring down isn't it I thought something like this would happen so I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag of course this isn't something any ordinary cat would do and just in case you've forgotten again I'm a human not a cat well see you around Actually, I forgot my umbrella. 
but it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Two huge competitions are coming up, one at the beginning of summer and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Seems pretty rough. Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. Train doors are now closing. Please stand back. you like?
Do you like the rain?
You certainly seem composed. Time if you wish to perform a fusion. Excessive power only leads to destruction. You okay with this? I see. A strong persona indeed. Excessive power only leads to destruction. Huh? It appears it will become something protective. Behold its new form. This may prove somewhat extreme. You change your mind, Justine. These are the paths you have walked. This pers- You'll withdraw this per- Then accept this- You lack patience. Done already? What? No slacking off! Have you heard? Do you like the rain? Thank you so much. Now. For example...
All right. Well, see you. The others kind of overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget, you're famous too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? Hey, inmate! Listen well. Waiting.
You've got guts. out. <laughs> Don't tell me. up. We didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. Sh shut up! I saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine. Th that wasn't food from this Earth. It was clearly a alien spawn of some sort. What? Is this true? Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. <clears throat> well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. 
While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. You better work just as hard next time. We know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move! to the student body. It says they're looking for information. I heard Principal Kobayakawa put it up. Please consult the student council president if you have any details. So we can go to her for anything? Why the student council president, though? What does she have to do with Principal Kobayakawa? I mean, Nijima-san is his favorite. Maybe that's why he asked her to do it. How tragic. Give it a try. This is it. <laughs> That's it. President, what is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... We've already received some anonymous information. I heard some students are getting threatened. I'm so scared. Please do something. What? They have dirt on me and they're demanding money? I can't go to the police, what should I do? Isn't this talking about the crimes that have been rumored to be occurring in Shibuya? 
So there are even victims at our school. What should we do? This isn't the responsibility of the student council. This is frightening for us, too. Principal Kobayakawa called you in yesterday, right? Did he tell you anything about this? Well, no. He's out today, but I will ask him tomorrow. Please, wait on this for the time being. If you say so. My apologies for the confusion. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. They will be reborn anew. You fusion. Not terrible, but not impressive. Excessive power only leads to destruction. You okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Its power will be... Then let us begin. You can't handle this. You change if you'd like to read here. You'll withdraw then accept this such <laughs> done already? What? It is time, inmate.
do today.
tell me. What do you think about that? I was wondering about that. That's cool. <laughs> it's so cool! Oh, yes. This is it. Exactly. Well said. Principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst! So that's what he's using Nijibis Senpai for? Oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it too. Nijima Senpai knew?
What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shuchen who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Uh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. That's absurd! So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. Choose! Looks pretty tough. Looks pretty tough. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Its power will... <laughs> I see.
I see. A strong persona indeed. Looks pretty tough. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive some new... My, my... Excessive power only leads to destruction. Excessive power only leads to destruction. You wished. Can you gather them up? What path do you want? Finished, you'd like to read the con- These are the paths you have walked. You'll withdraw this persona, then accept this persona. Commanding it is beyond you. Commanding it is beyond you. Time you wish to perform. Now choose! Not terrible, but not impressive. Change your mind. Are you finished? What? No slacking off. I think that's good.
I was thinking... home now. Do it.
Yes. Yeah. Nice. Well then. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. Chill, man. For example... Soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Could this get any more obvious? Wow, he's not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna fast. <sighs> hey! What's going on? I can't stand all this noise! Hey, asshole! My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah... Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. I'm so pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? <laughs> Being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. 
Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but... You'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dometown. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. All right. Puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Dude, it's not fair. Oh, using your cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Wanna head back? Mr. Akechi's coming on! Ah, it's Akechi! Oh, he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, 
On to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do! About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. All right, let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? You say that with such firmness. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kejikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? I see, but how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? 
it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe, if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Oh, you really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. And... registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. <sighs> Just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him. 
but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Hey! Oh! This is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. And in exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sound good? And it's a deal. To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the temperance persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. doing here with one of my students well I guess I should get going oh please request me if you need any help with your housework okay that's clearly not true <laughs> come on we know each other's secret and it would put my mind at ease Besides, I'm, uh, I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Just think about it, okay? Master!
the Phantom Thieves are super lame. from yesterday really pissed me off. Or some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then! If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with! Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. You're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then, how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. they got to be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? 
You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean, An's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! <sighs> what a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello! A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're, a uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? That's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee! Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? 
Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it. I'm never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? What? What my ass? You don't have any cash. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. <laughs> <laughs> 